Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here in this video. We are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve d squared minus 4 into y equals to x cubed. Firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative here. d squared is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is a de degree. Degree is 1. Or just write the given differential equation as d squared y minus 4y equals to x cubed. We know that d is a differential operator. Then we can write d squared as d squared by dx squared. Right? Now, we'll write the given differential equation as d squared y. Just write d squared y by replacing d squared by d squared by dx squared. We'll get d squared y by dx squared minus 4y equals to x cubed. Here, d squared y by dx squared is the highest derivative, so our order is 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Now coming to the problem. Solution given. Differential equation. D squared minus 4 into y equals to x cube, which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to q, where f of d equals to d squared minus 4 and q equals to x cube. So here we are going to find the general solution to the given equation, which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here y is a complementary function. We will find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. By equating RHS to 0, we'll get f of d into y equals to 0, which is a homogeneous equation of the given equation, right? Just by taking RHS to 0, we'll get f of d into y equals to 0, which is a homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation, and we'll find y p using 1 by f of d into q. Here we have q is of x power k form, right? Now compare this x power k with x cube for k equals to 3. We'll get derivatives of q till d power q. Okay. We'll get derivative of x. Sorry, derivative of q. d square of q. And d cube of q. From d power 4 of q, we'll get value 0. It means... In general, d power k of q is 0 for k equals to 4, 5 and so on. We will see it later. So firstly, let's find yc using the roots of auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d d squared minus 4 right so let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m squared minus 4 now our auxiliary equation becomes m squared minus 4 equals to 0 now we can write this 4 as 2 square now, this is of a square minus b square form, so we can write it as a plus b into a minus b. Now, equate each factor to 0. From m plus 2 equals to 0, we will get m equals to minus 2. And from m minus 3 equals to 0, we will get m equals to 2. Then, m equals to minus 2 and plus 2 are the roots of our auxiliary equation. So here minus 2 and plus 2 are real and distinct roots of our auxiliary equation. Right? Therefore, 
m equals to minus 2 plus 2 are the roots of our auxiliary equation which are real and distinct or you can call it as real and different. We know that when two roots say m1 and m2 are real and distinct then our complementary function looks like constant into e power 1 root into x, another constant into e power another root into x. Now let's write our complementary function. y is equals to c1 e power 1 root into x plus c2 e power another root into x, right? Which is equals to c1 e power minus 2x plus c2 e power 2x. Therefore, y is equals to c1 e power minus 2x plus c2 e power 2x. Now let's find particular integral. We can find particular integral using yp equals to 1 by f of d into q. Here we have f of d, d square minus 4 and q is x cube, right? Since we are having yp of 1 by f of d into x for k form, so we will write the fraction in terms of or in 1 by 1 plus x form or 1 by 1 minus x form. Later we will use binomial series expansion. And here we are having x cube, right? We are having 3. So we will get derivatives till d cube. Okay, we will get derivatives of q till d cube. Plus, let's see. Derivative x cube is 3x square, right? Now let's find d square of x cube, which is derivative of derivative of x cube. We have the value of first derivative of x cube, which is 3x square. Now we can find derivative of x square, right? We'll get 2x, which is 6x. Now let's find third derivative, fourth derivative. d cube of x cube is derivative of d square of x cube. We have the value of d square of x cube which is 6x. So we can write it as 6 into derivative of x. And we know that derivative of x with respect to x is 1. So we will get 6. Now let's find d power 4 of q. This derivative of d cube of x cube. We have the value of d cube of x cube which is 6. And we know that derivative of a constant is 0. Right? See we got derivative still d cube. Since we are having q. Which is x cube for k equals to 3. We will get values of derivatives of q till d cube. Right? In general, d for k of q is 0 for k equals to 4, 5 and so on. Right? Fine. Now, let's write f of d. Here in f of d, we have to take lowest degree term outside the f of d. So what we'll do, let's write f of d in ascending order for our convenience okay or you can just take minus 4 common from here itself now i want to take minus 4 common from these two terms but in the second term we don't have any minus 4 so what we'll do is we'll just multiply and divide minus 4 to this okay or First we take minus common from the denominator. We will get minus of 4 
minus d square into x cube. Now we are having 4 minus d square, right? Let's take 4 common from these two terms since we don't have any 4 here. So we can write second term as d square into just multiply and divide 4 to this term. Okay? Into x cube which is equal to and we can write is as minus now take 4 common from these two terms we will get 4 into 1 minus d square by 4 into x cube now we can split the total fraction into two fractions right now we are having yp equals to split the fraction into two fractions 1 by minus 4 into 1 by 1 minus d square by 4 into q. Now we can write 1 by minus 4 as minus 1 by 4. And here we are having a fraction which is of 1 by 1 minus x form. Right? So we can write 1 by 1 minus x as 1 minus x whole inverse. Right? So we can write this form, I mean we can write this fraction as 1 minus d squared by 4 whole inverse into x cube. Now let's use binomial theorem or binomial series of extension. 1 minus x whole inverse is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cube plus so on, right? For just compare 1 minus x whole inverse with 1 minus d square by 4 whole inverse will get 1 plus d square by 4 plus d square by 4 whole square for x equals to d square by 4 will get this right plus d square by 4 whole cube plus so on which is equals to 1 plus d square by 4 plus d square whole square is d square into d square which is d power 2 plus 2 is d power 4 right we can write d square whole square as d power 4 by 4 square is 16 plus d square whole cube is d square into d square into d square which is d power 2 plus 2 plus 2 d power 6 d power 6 by 4 cube. 4 goes are 16, 16 4 is 64. Plus so on. We know that we will get derivatives of q till d cube of x cube, which is nothing but d cube, right? So we can neglect higher powers from here, right? From d power 4, d power 5, and so on. Because it becomes 0. Now coming to yp. You can write just expansion of 1 minus x whole inverse here. 1 plus d squared by 4 plus d squared by 4 whole square plus d squared by 4 whole cube plus so on, right? This is equal to minus 1 by 4 into 1 plus d squared by 4 plus d squared whole square is d power 4 by 4 square 16 plus d squared whole cube is d power 6 by 4 cube is 64 plus so on into q don't forget to write q since d power k of q is 0 for k equals to 4 5 and so on so neglect higher powers 
from d power 4, d power 5 and so on. Okay. Because we'll get d power 4 of q 0, d power 6 of q 0. So we are going to neglect terms from here. Okay. So we'll get or we'll have only the first two terms. Now yb becomes minus 1 by 4 into 1 plus d squared by 4 into q, x q is equals to minus 1 by 4 into 1 plus, we can write d squared by 4 as 1 by 4 into d squared for our convenience. Is equals to minus 1 by 4 into 1 into x cube is x cube plus 1 by 4 into d square of x cube. So is equals to minus 1 by 4 into x cube plus 1 by 4 into value of x, d square of x cube is 6x. To 2's are, to 3's are, this becomes minus 1 by 4 into x cube plus 3 by 2 into x, right, or 3x by 2. Now take LCM of 1 into which is 2, we'll get 2 into x cube, 2x cube plus 3x by 2, right. Again we can split this fraction as minus 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 into 2x cube plus 3x. Right? Also, we can take 1x common from these two terms under brackets. Okay? Just take 1x common from these two terms. We will get minus 1 by 4 to the 8 into x into 2x square plus 3. So, we can write yp as Minus 1 by 8 into x is minus 8, sorry, minus x by 8 into 2x square plus 3. Now let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc, we have c1 e power minus 2x plus c2 e power 2x plus yp minus x by 8 into 2x square plus 3, which completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.